Hello world, it's Wilson with Easy Homemade Alcohol. Now you may notice I don't have a beard anymore, and that's fine. I shaved it off, uh, but that doesn't change how easy it is to make alcohol. So now that that's out of the way, we're going to talk about freezer distillation. It's a simple way of taking your one gallon of sugar wine or some kind of base alcohol and cutting it to give you a higher percentage of alcohol without doing any elaborate distillation. This is basically taking plastic bags, one gallon Ziploc bags, or you don't even have to have one gallon Ziploc bags. I actually use a thing of Tupperware. You take your juice or your sugar wine, whatever you want, you dump it into your Tupperware or your Ziploc bag and you put it in the freezer for two or three days. Then after you're done, that for two or three days, it'll turn into like a slush. Take that slush, you strain it through a cheesecloth or a shirt or something fancier. You can even use a strainer as long as it's a tight hold strainer. But what I'm going to use is just a t-shirt. That's all I have. Just a plain white t-shirt. Nothing fancy about it. You should have one of these at your house. It doesn't even have to be white. I also use a taller piece of um, just Tupperware. I take my shirt, put it inside of here after three or four days. And I take my slush mixture of sugar wine. It's actually an apple juice. I uh, pour it in here. Pretty much it. Do that. I'm going to take my shirt, gather it up, and you can see how it's running out. So we have separating the, the liquid from the ice. Now, alcohol doesn't freeze very easily. It takes a lot to freeze alcohol. It takes a ton to freeze alcohol. You have to get to some kind of minus that, that you and I do not have the power to get to. So what we're doing by freezing the water, all this liquid that's left is alcohol. Not all of it. There's a lot of actual liquid in it, but get it all good and strained out. When I make my rice wines, or my sugar wines or my anything wines. I just assume it's 5% alcohol. It's a good base number I use so that I'm not running a hydrometer through it all the time. And I can do it a lot faster. I can make three or four of them. Just call it a five. And I had a one gallon of an apple sugar wine. And now I have about less than half a gallon. It's about a liter, uh, a little more than a liter or a quarter. I guess it's a pretty close comparison. So what I'm taking out is all this just ice. Now there is some little tiny bit of alcohol in it, but not enough to really make a huge difference. So I just do this way. Then I say that it was a 5% alcohol. And I cut it in a I cut it in half, so that makes it a 10% alcohol. When I cut it again, that makes it about a 20% alcohol. Um, now is that an exact number? Nah, but if it's a 15 to 25, it's gonna do pretty much the same thing. This is more of just a fun way to make a good drink for a party or something. Um, it's easy to do, anybody can do it, and you can Freeze it one time, you can freeze it two times, you can freeze it three times, you can freeze it as many times as you want. You can just keep freezing it. And now, every time you do it, all that ice, there's going to be some alcohol left in that ice because I'm not straining all the water out of it every time. But this still makes a very good drink. Um, now, if you watch my last video on the real sugar wine, I tell you to leave some of it, to save some of it. And this is what I saved from my last from this apple juice sugar. Now this all this is is just apple juice, just straight up apple juice. 
Now when you get this and you cut it a few times, you smell it, you can smell alcohol in it. And you can taste it. It doesn't taste too bad. It's not excellent, but taking this little guy, dumping it in there, makes things so much better. And it smells good, tastes good, just kind of brings the flavor back to its original flavor while keeping alcohol. And that is pretty much it for freezer distillation. Not really a whole lot to it. Now if you like this and you try it, you got questions, don't be afraid to leave comments below, subscribe, and you know, let me know what you think of what I'm doing. Thanks. Don't forget to watch the other videos.